Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, it was another hot one to, to start your Sunday to end off your weekend with temperatures once again in the 90s. Heat indices, triple digits right now, actually. 106 degrees is what it feels like. That just bumped up here in the last few minutes, so very hot out there. That's the highest we've been, I think, this year, 106 degrees, so very hot. Make sure, again, you are staying hydrated. I can't stress it enough. And take a look at these heat indices. They're going to stay in the triple digits all the way until we get to around 8 o'clock tonight. Then they'll finally start to fall back down into the 90s. But again, all throughout the day, all throughout the night even, it's going to be very hot out there. But that is finally going to change eventually as we get into the middle parts of the week. Temperatures will really start to fall. Heat advisory throughout the entire state until 8 o'clock tonight. So again, make sure you're taking all the necessary precautions if you are going outside. As you see, really that entire stretch um, of the Midwest there is in that uh, heat advisory. As that cold front pushes through, that's going to bring chances for some showers. That's when we're going to start to cool off. So that cold front has already seen its effects there with these lines of showers. Really spotty line, not really a defined line just yet, but these have slowly been forming over the past 35 to 45 minutes. And that's what's going to slowly start to work its way into our parts of the area here over the next three to four hours. By the time we hit about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, wouldn't be surprised if you see a more defined line of those showers and storms pushing into the area, bringing a pretty good chance for some rain. So we're staying clear mostly throughout the entire parts of the day. Thought we might see a line of showers move through earlier, but that really kind of just skipped over us and then worked its way out throughout the parts of the eastern part of the state. But as we expand this view a little bit, there you already see that line kind of starting to form in a hurry there. That's what's going to be pushing across. Again, the northern parts of the area, they have the best chance to see those showers and storms, but I don't think that the, I don't think the central or southern part of the state won't see anything. So everybody, I would expect to see at least some rain, maybe even a few lines of storms storms push through overnight. 74 degrees, similar to what we saw yesterday with those temperatures. Again, staying warm, about 10 degrees above average for the overnight conditions. So again, very warm out there. There's a look at Futurecast for the line right there. You see that really start to move in. 7 o'clock when it reaches the northern parts of the state. And then it kind of starts to push through. It gets a little bigger by the time it gets to the central part of the state. So again, the bulk of it, you see that kind of stays to the northern part. But again, I don't think that the central part will escape that rain and storms by any means. So about a half inch, maybe even a little bit more than that for some places if you do see that thunderstorm, but I wouldn't be surprised if a tenth, tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch isn't the overall average, but again, thunderstorms, those, those totals are going to be much higher. Tomorrow, though, you're going to see that chance for some rain early in the morning, but as we move throughout the rest of the day, those rain chances move off, and look at that, only seeing a high in the 80s going to be very nice to see that. Rain chances in the morning, those kind of start to move out. Maybe a slight chance as that cold front completely moves out, so it's not going to be too bad. Temperatures all around the area in those mid-80s. Everybody's going to be in those really 86, 84 range right there, and that's going to be the trend throughout the rest of the week. 86 tomorrow, 85 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, drop down to 82. Not going to be too bad, and this is a slight warm-up throughout the end of the week. 83 degrees on Friday and Saturday, dropping down to 80 degrees on Sunday. So while it is going to be much cooler throughout the week. We're going to have a pretty good chance for some showers and storms. Tuesday's looking good. Wednesday throughout most of the day, but Wednesday night, that's when those storm chances come back in. Well, I'm glad to see that it's not going to be as hot later this week. I know earlier today,